Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Parisher, and today I want to show you some things about your resource browser. Let's take a look at our resource browser, which is the icon that has the music notes and the clicker on it. If you don't see this, go up to View and make sure that Browsers is checked. Now here, you see there's one face. This is the My Resources. The three faces is Shared Resources. It's a little misleading because you're not actually sharing it with anyone. Shared resources are the resources that Active Inspire comes with. My resources will be empty until you start adding things to it. Let's take a look at some of the things in the shared resources. Shared resources includes activities and templates. And each of these are nested folders, so you need to click down a couple levels until you can see some previews. It also includes backgrounds, grids, lesson building tools is where you're going to see buttons and icons and gadgets like timers. This is a folder that came with Active Inspire, but it's a separate download. If you don't have this subjects folder, you can go to Promethean Planet support and then you'll be able to find the main resource pack. That's going to include all the folders in here. History, geography, chemistry, biology, music, PE. Now you can see in mine that I had some pictures added in and I have a lot of things in the My Resources. How did I do that? Well there's a couple different ways to do it. You can drag and drop something from your desktop or from Safari or Internet Explorer or you can move something from a flip chart. So if I take a look at this picture of the frog right here, I'd want to navigate to the section I want to put him in. So I'm going to go to Biology and Life Sciences. I'm going to click on Animal. So I'm going to click on the frog and I'm going to drag it over until I see the green plus. It looks like it's moving off the page, but then it actually snaps back and the green plus pops up, adding this frog into the Animal folder. Once you start adding a lot more resources, you may want to add more folders. Click on this little icon right here, and you'll see the options to rename this folder or create a new folder. So you can go back up to Subjects and create a new folder inside Subjects. Thanks for watching Springboard Media's Active Tips. Check out our website for more information about our professional development courses and workshops.